Finally this morning, we turn to a highly anticipated compilation album from eight-time Grammy award-winning musician Dan Auerbach. Titled Tell Everybody from his record label, Easy Eye Sound, it features blues artists of all ages, from Chicago to the Mississippi Delta. And the founding member of the Black Keys joins us now. Dan, great to see you. Uh, congrats on the new album. Tell us uh, about its origins here and, and what the blues, whether it's from Mississippi or Chicago, what they mean to you. What is that, what is that atmosphere like? You know, growing up, I was introduced. I had a lot of good teachers. They introduced me to some great music and it just, uh, it captured my imagination and it really, uh, inspired me it made me want to play guitar at a time where I was I was ready for it you know and I've never lost the love for that genre I, I don't know what it is about it, it just kind of has a hold on me uh, so over the years you know in between recording modern artists and all different kinds of um, all different styles of music I, I always make room for what I consider to be sort of blues based music and this compilation represents that. Hey, Dan, it's uh, it's John Heilman here, and I, I want to kind of pick up on that a little bit. You know, I think about, people think about the Black Keys, and, and you know, people think about Lonely Boy and Tighten Up, and you think of you guys as kind of iconic garage rock, you know, some of the most popular, one of the most popular garage rock groups from that kind of early part of the, of the, of the new millennium. I, I, some of us here, though, are old enough to remember that you guys really got your start on Fat Possum Records, which is a kind of iconic uh, blues label uh, based in Mississippi that had a bunch of your heroes like Arl Burnside and Junior Kimbrough on it. So, you know, you, your, your blues roots go way back. And I, I guess the question I have is, what's it like to be out there now kind of taking up the cause of a genre that, uh, you know, as pop, has eclipsed rock, has eclipsed. I mean, the rock is having a, its own problems trying to hold its own with young audiences. I, I, I just wonder what it's like to be out there evangelizing uh, in a marketplace uh, where even rock has a hard time selling, and now trying to go even deeper than that and try to take people back to the yeah. blues. You know, I mean, I, even when I was a kid, I, I pretty much felt alone in my love for blues music. You know, I mean, I was probably the only kid in my high school reading The Land Where the Blues Began by Alan Lomax and stuff like that. But so, you know, it's a niche, um, it's a niche genre, but um, it just never gets old for me. And uh, there are certain musicians who deserve to be heard. Um, so, you know, there are people like R.L. Boyce and Jimmy Duck Holmes and Leo Bud Welch, who are like the elders, who I was just lucky enough to meet and, and have in the studio. And then there's new voices like Gabe Carter and Nat Myers and, and the Moonrisers. And, you know, they kind of breathe fresh air into into the style. And so this compilation was the idea around it was to mix the new and the old and just have a good Saturday night party record, really start to finish. There's a, I think a, a one cut on this record that's yours. Uh, I'm curious, you know, you've, you've, you've been doing this stuff, even with the, the recent key stuff has been in the blues genre. I'm curious whether we're going to get a solo album, a solo Dan Auerbach album. That's just straight blues. <laughs> Mm, maybe not, but, uh, you know, we Pat and I did do a Delta Cream album where we covered R.L. Burnside, like yeah. you mentioned, and Junior Kimbrough. Uh, when I was 18 years old, Fat Possum was in full swing. And for the first time in my life, these blues musicians weren't just these antiques on record. They, I could go see them at clubs. I would go see R.L. Burnside, Team Auto Ford, Paul Jones. I would see all these musicians face to face and... I felt that energy, and um, for me, there was just nothing like it. It's pure Americana, it's raw, and it's it's how I want to hear music. Really, it's it's the basis pure. for everything I love about music. Love about music. I go any genre that I dip my toes into. I always have that in the back of my mind somewhere. Yeah, like like you said, pure Americana. The album tell everybody. From the record label, Easy Eye Sound is out now. The reissue of Dan's 2009 debut solo album, Keep It Hid, is out September 29th. Dan Arbach, thank you so much. And that does it for us this morning. Anna